Okay, so I'm at Cork, Kent station. I'm gonna be heading back up to Dublin and checking out the standard class accommodation. I think by the way it's looking, it's gonna be one of these uh, IDMU class 22,000, if that's the right terminology, things. So not a like for like, but we'll see how we get on anyway. Just to explain, this is the return leg of a journey I took with Irish Rail down from Dublin to Cork on the local hauled Mark IV sets and we'll put a link to that video at the end of this one. Opened in 1893, the station was originally called Glanmire Road, but in 1966, on the 50th anniversary of the Easter Rising, it was renamed in honour of this gentleman, Thomas Kent. And overall, I think it's a lovely little station. It's got everything you need. There's uh, ticket vending machines, ATM. It is a staffed station, so there's a booking office and lost property. There's also somewhere to get something to read and a coffee before your journey. To the train! These diesel multiple units began to be introduced onto the Irish Rail network in 2007, replacing what was largely local hauled coaching stock. I think I must be getting old because they just don't do anything for me. Mind the gap. Despite my earlier apprehension about these DMUs, on first impressions of the interior, I think it looks great. It's really bright and looks very stylish. But the real test will be when we hear from Mrs. Tim's Travels, of course. So another spot interview with Mrs. Tim's Travels. So we're in standard class. It's a um, different train. What do you think of the seats in this standard class compared to first class on the Mark IVs? Not good. Why? They're hard, I'm upright, they're small, they're narrow, everything's very cramped and tight and hard. So, do you prefer this morning's train or this one? This morning. If you could have this morning's, if you could have this morning's seating on this train, yeah, it's the seating now. Like, I, don't, the seating. I don't know what the train is like, I must yeah. admit. The seating, definitely. Is it morning. worth paying more money for the seats? Yes. Right, okay. Lesson learned. Thanks for your feedback. So there you go. Uh, thumbs down from Mrs. Tim's Travels. And bang on time, we depart Cork, Kent, and begin our journey up to Dublin. What these newer trains do have going for them is USB charging points. So that's good. It's a beautiful late afternoon in September to be travelling through the Irish countryside and before long we're rolling into Limerick Junction. And this is a station that I have wanted to visit for a long time. Although the layout is not as funky as it used to be, it's still a pretty cool station and I'm really pleased to have ticked this off my bucket list. I suppose the best way I can put it is that it's a quirky station. You've got the Dublin Cork line crossing over the Limerick to Waterford line and trains from Waterford that are heading to Limerick have to reverse into Limerick Junction Station. It's just one of those little things that I like. Now what happened next was a harrowing visit to the toilet. The toilet on these intercity BMUs are tiny. Water is 
I don't know what happened in that toilet. I wasn't smoking. I've never smoked. I didn't have any cigarettes. I hadn't lit any cigarettes. I never bought cigarettes. So I don't know what I did to get Margaret Thatcher to come after me in such an aggressive way. So instead of a more in-depth view of the bathroom facilities, here's Ballybrophy Station instead. This is a station with a history. When it opened in 1847, it was called Boris and Ross Cray. Then in 1857, it was renamed Ross Cray and Parsons Town Junction. And then in 1870, it was named Ballybrophy. And there are suggestions that it should be changed again to Ballybrophy and Nina Junction. So watch this space. So we're just, just pulling into Houston. Um, what did you think of the train fee? Um, it's a bit wobbly. A bit wobbly. Yeah, not the happiest. I find it unhappy. So I think we're agreed. First no, class. First class, all the way. <laughs> So with our arrival at Houston Station, I'll just mention that our tickets today cost €21.49 each, which I think is a fair enough price. As for the journey, well the scenery was beautiful and some late afternoon sunshine certainly helped with that. As for the train and the experience, well, nothing particularly remarkable I have to say, nothing to write home about. Anyway, if you've got this far, thanks for watching, thanks for listening to me ramble. If you've enjoyed it, maybe give me a wee thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you again soon on Tim's Travels.